Hello, my name is Anahandra, and I'm a museum educator at the Art Institute of Chicago. In this video, we will be looking together at a work of art from our collection. When we look at art, we always start with looking closely and seeing what we notice. Let's begin to explore this artwork by looking quietly for a few moments. Let's look at the foreground. This is the part of the scene that is closest to us. What do you see? There are lots of people that seem to be working outside. Some are cutting stone, some are digging dirt. Why do you think they might be doing that? In the middle, we see a woman in an orange dress reaching up towards a large, spiky, red and green object. If she could talk, what might she be saying? Now, let's look at the background, or the part of the scene that is furthest away from us. What do you see? There are more people moving, possibly pieces of wood in a barrel. What might the large thing behind them be? On the other side, we see white smoke moving across the sky, wrapping around something made of brick. Where is the smoke coming from? This style of art is called surrealism, which means beyond reality. Some surrealists created art that felt like a dream, the kind where you can't tell where your dream ends and reality begins. Is there any part of this artwork that feels like a dream to you? The title of this painting is The Rock. When Peter Bloom started this painting in 1944, the United States, along with many other countries, was involved in World War II. During the war, bombs were dropped, buildings and houses torn down, and people were forced to move or hide to stay safe. Sadly, many people lost their lives. This painting took Peter Bloom four years to paint, so by the time he finished in 1948, World War II was over and people were starting to rebuild what had been destroyed in the war. This painting can be seen in many different ways. Some people see destruction, other people see rebuilding, and some people see both. Where in the painting can you see examples of things being destroyed? What about things being rebuilt? Does looking at this painting remind you of anything in your own life? Have you ever seen anything torn down? What about something that was fixed or built from scratch? Peter Bloom called this painting The Rock. That doesn't give us many clues to the meaning behind this artwork or explain what exactly is going on. Maybe the rock is that red and green spiky object in the middle. But how did it get there? Why are all these people outside working? Work together with your friends or family to tell the story of what is happening in this artwork. Have someone start the story and write down the first sentence on a piece of paper. Pass the paper to the next person to write the next sentence. Repeat this process until everyone has had a chance to contribute at least once. If you are doing this on a computer, take turns typing your sentences on a document together. You can even write your story with text on a phone. When you're ready, put your sentences together and read your thrilling tale out loud. What's the title of your story? Your title can describe what's happening in your story express how the scene makes you feel, or even just be as mysterious as the original title of The Rock. It's up to you. Thank you so much for joining me in exploring this wonderful artwork from our Arts of the Americas collection. You can view this artwork at any time through our website, and you can check to see if it's on display the next time you visit the museum in person. Have fun creating your stories and coming up with new titles. I hope to see you again soon.